Hello everyone, my name is Ben from TV Parts Today and I would like to be your DIY TV repair guide. In today's video, we are going to be covering some common terminology that you could run across when starting your DIY TV repair adventure. So to get started, we will be covering some terms that we use when covering diagnosis and troubleshooting. First, we're going to be talking about boot looping and power cycling. And while these two issues sound the same, it is important to be able to make the distinction between the two as they have two different primary causes and two different primary fixes. Boot looping is a situation where the television turns on. It will show you the initial startup screen and then fail and then repeat that process of showing you the initial startup screen. Uh, this could be a splash screen, a welcome screen, or a logo for the brand of television that you use. Uh, this is very commonly attributed to the main board, so we should try to replace that part first if we're experiencing this symptom. Next, we will be covering power cycling. And while this sounds similar to boot looping, the main distinction between the two is that you will probably not be seeing a logo or a welcome screen. Uh, this is a situation where the television will try to power on, fail to do so, but then try to power on again, effectively cycling power. Uh, this can be accompanied by a clicking sound coming from the back of the television and is most commonly attributed to the power supply board. Screen burn or permanent image retention is an issue with your television where you will have a faint image that is burned onto the TV screen when it's not supposed to be there. Uh, this could be a static banner from a news channel, this could be a heads up display from a video game, or a logo that's displayed on your television. Uh, this usually happens when we have a still image that does not change for very long periods of time on your TV, effectively causing the pixels that make up that image to wear out unevenly. Uh, this is most common in uh, some OLED TVs, uh, but can happen in older plasma screen TVs as well as in some situations LCD TVs. Uh, this is most commonly attributed to the TCON board in OLED televisions. A washed out picture when it comes to TV repair is an issue where you will have an image that looks very bright or like the contrast is set very low. Uh, this will usually be accompanied by colors that are very dull and bland, uh, just not as vibrant as they should be. Uh, we should always check any connecting cables like an HDMI cord and also the settings in our television just to make sure that that is not the issue first. But if we are going to get to a board swap, the TCON board is the most likely cause for this issue. Solarization is an issue with your television that could make the colors on your TV appear inverted. Uh, this could be causing the image to look like a negative image and could also be accompanied by some distortions. Uh, this is an issue that is most commonly attributed to the TCON board but could also be caused by your main board as well. Artifacts are any unusual patterns on your television. This could be anything from a loss of clarity to blurring, uh, also any blocky shapes or patterns on the television. Uh, this is kind of a catch-all for display issues with the TV, so the causes of this can run the gamut of parts in the back of your television. Anything from the main board to the TCON board, power supply, or even the panel could be causing artifacts on your display. Ghosting is an issue with your TV where the image looks out of sync, or like a single image but layered together improperly. Uh, this is usually attributed to the TCON board or the main board in your television. Next, we will be covering blue screen versus blue tint. Uh, well, this is another set of issues that sound very similar to each other, but have different causes and have different fixes. Uh, so blue screen is going to be where we are not seeing any images on the screen, just a flat, blank, blue screen. Uh, this will be uh, usually accompanied by sound and is commonly attributed to the main board. Uh, next up is blue tint. Uh, blue tint is where we are going to see images displayed on the screen, but appears as though everything is bathed in a blue light. If we've checked the settings on our television just to make sure that everything is correct, then this is commonly attributed to the backlights. We would also like to cover some terminology when it comes to hardware in your set. So first up, we are going to be covering the standby light or power indicator light. This is a small, usually red light at the bottom of your television that is illuminated when the television is off or in standby mode, but then turns off or changes color when the television is turned on. Uh, we often refer to this component when we are trying to determine whether or not the television is getting any power at all. When we are talking about the back plate 
on a television. We are talking about the back covering that covers up all of the boards that are on the back of the television. Uh, usually most of the boards, main board, power supply, and T-con board are affixed to the back of the chassis of the television and the back plate is what covers those boards on the back of the television. When we say the panel in your television, we are referring to the screen as well as all of the diffuser panels that set behind that screen to deaden the very bright light from the backlights, just into a soft, warm glow that illuminates the screen. Uh, OLED TVs, we are just referring to the display. Uh, OLED TVs do not use diffuser panels or backlights. And this leads us to the term backlights. Backlights are small strips of LED lights that set behind the panel to illuminate the picture so that we see a nice, crisp, clear image on our TV screen. Uh, there are a couple of different configurations of backlights. Uh, there are the standard strips that just set in rows back behind the panel, and there are also edge lit backlights. Uh, these set at the edges of the TV and illuminate from the edges of the television. Uh, OLED TVs do not use backlights. Uh, each individual pixel on the display is its own LED. So once again, OLED TVs do not use backlights. Ribbon cables are wide, flat connections that connect various boards in our set. Uh, this is usually between the main board and the T-con board, and then the T-con board and the panel. Uh, they can be referred to as LVDS cables, and they do come in a couple of different styles. Uh, they will either be an exposed connection, or there will be a small clip that fits into the ribbon cable connection. Firmware and TV repair is referring to the permanent software that's on your television's main board. Uh, while we are usually referring to firmware when talking about Sony TVs, every TV does have firmware on the main board. The reason that we single out Sony TVs is because anytime that we are changing a main board or a T-con board in a Sony television, we have to do what's called a firmware update. Uh, this is a process where we are uploading new instructions onto the main board so that the main board has the correct information to be able to display images with your specific main board and T-con board. We often use part and board interchangeably when we're talking about the components in the back of our TV, but there is an important distinction to be made when we are talking about part numbers and board numbers. A board number is going to refer to the blank printed board before all of the components have been soldered on. The part number is going to refer to the completed final product after all of the components have been soldered onto it. Anytime that we are trying to match parts to swap in the back of our TV, it is important to be using the part number and not the board number, as board numbers can sometimes refer back to multiple very different parts. Finally, we will be talking about the difference between a factory reset and a hard reset. A factory reset is accomplished by navigating through your television's menus and making the correct selection. Uh, this is usually called factory reset or return to factory defaults. Uh, this will delete all of the information off of the main board. All of your login info, passwords, or any setting, color settings that you might have on the television will all be restored to the way that they were when it rolled off of the factory line. A hard reset is much less invasive when it comes to the information on your main board. Uh, this is accomplished by turning the television off, unplugging it from the wall, waiting for about a minute or so, and then plugging the television back in. Uh, these are two methods used in two different situations and for two different reasons. Uh, so it is important to be able to make the distinction between the two. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about this or any other TV repair, we do offer free troubleshooting and diagnosis advice. You can give us a call at 930-212-1975 or send us an email to info at tvpartstoday.com. That's I-N-F-O at tvpartstoday.com. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and we will see you next time.